Welcome back everybody. So guys in this lecture we're going to talk about the drop downs. So uh, first of all you know the drop down is ultimately a button. So first of all we need to make the button. But before the button because you know it's again like groups uh, uh, a collection of multiple buttons. So first of all we need a div here. But this time we're not going to make the group here. But uh, inside the div you're going to see what we're going to do. Uh, the class and inside the class I'm just going to put the drop demand the spelling must be clear the drop down and yeah the drop down and inside the drop down I'm gonna make the button the main button here here and inside the button I'm just gonna uh, put some classes you know that's actually necessary because the bootstrap works on classes so I'm just gonna put the value I'm just gonna put here something like the BDN first then BDN and uh, uh, danger okay whatever I can put whatever I want I can put so whatever class I just prefer I can put in it in a theme from the bootstrap theme so inside that uh, first of all I'm gonna put the data I'm just gonna put here click to or the menu simply menu okay well I can put anything um, by the way I think here I shouldn't put the spaces or the line break so let's just make it in a single line and uh, I'm gonna go to the next thing um, no, I just want to guide you first um, BDN danger if I just go to the browser what I'm gonna see is something like refresh that and now you can see that the menu okay that's cool right after that the container right before the drop down actually I'm just gonna make a BR go to the browser refresh that and here you can see that the line break I'm just going there well, the new thing I just need to make here to make it actually different from the basic, um, it actually works with the, the support of JavaScript. So if you do not have the bootstrap.main.js and the jQuery, you know, the bootstrap.main.js won't work if you won't have the jQuery.main.js. So first we need the jQuery. Uh, the J that main is not necessary, by the way. It's a minified version, but you need the jQuery applied and implemented uh, right before the bootstrap JS file so we need both of the things and then if we have both of the thing we can go down we get here we can see that I've made the drop down the BDN danger now I'm gonna apply some bootstrap stuff so first of all I'm just gonna make the BDN here and uh, sorry not the BDN anymore the drop down and the toggle drop down toggle this is a button which will be uh, which will play the main role to open the menu and close the menu. But where is the JavaScript applied? Here I'm just putting the data, data toggle. Oh man, uh, here I should be uh, data toggle, and then the value for this variable, uh, this attribute. This is the attribute, but you know it's uh, fully supported by the. Uh, bootstrap uh, diamond the js file it can be uh, non minified or the development version of jQuery the bootstrap but uh, I'm using the minified version there is no problem in it by the way let's just put the value in it but which kind of value we need to put inside the data toggle um, what we just want to do what we just want to toggle we just want to toggle the drop down this is how I'm just gonna apply I'm applying the drop down toggle okay uh, you can see that the same class we've had the uh, uh, we have there uh, there but here here also but uh, we already telling that data toggle so we do not need to mention this one so only only the drop down okay cool the next thing I just need to do is be inside this drop down but right after the button I'm making the div this is a div here and this is just like a group but absolutely I'm not gonna put the BDN group value here but I'm just gonna make the, the drop down menu okay that's awesome and I'm gonna go down down right after the drop the drop down menu and here I'm making the links here uh, the a I'm using the anchor tag instead of the buttons for now at least hyper reference and here I'm just putting the hush and uh, because you know these are not only the buttons I'm just gonna make some make them links so this is why I'm doing that so the a inside the a I'm just gonna put the value like the first link or whatever I have in my mind I can put 
and the next thing I'm just gonna put the class here to clarify what I'm just doing with this so what it it is the drop down item okay right after the first item I'm just gonna make another one the a hyper reference and hash again and the class and here the drop down item again and the uh, the second link and a and right after that I'm just gonna make another one and uh, uh, here are the hyper reference and the hash again and the class and now again the drop down item so we have three items here third link <clears throat> save it now go to the browser refresh that I've got this if I just click there you can see that nothing happening that means I just need to check if I missed something by the way the coding seems uh, fine to me um, then uh, I need to see if I just uh, uh, missed the jQuery or the bootstrap file so I just need to go there to the JS and here I'm the bootstrap the bootstrap.min.js it's there and the jQuery and wow the jQuery.min.js is not there it's the jQuery.js and it's still we're missing one more thing we need to apply the uh, this one Okay, we can download that too, but I just applied the, the online version of the popper. The popper that means that JS is necessary if you're just working uh, like that. So I've just used the popper and I'm just going there and I'm just refreshing that. And you can see that right after refreshing, you can see that there is a link. All of the links are here, so you can see that it's looking like that. That means it's actually working, so all good. Well, that was the basic drop down. Now we can just make, uh, we just can put some styles like the drop down header. If you have the the first link or second link or the third link, so you can add things like that. Here I'm adding the div inside that. I'm just making a div. Okay, right inside, uh, right after the, right before the a tags or wherever you wanna put, but inside the drop down menu class. So the class I'm adding with this div is the drop down. Spelling this with Clear, drop down header, and we do not need to type. Uh, uh, it, well, yeah, we have to type something because it, we are not doing, we are not separating, we are just putting a header here. So, the header, save it now. Go to the browser and refresh the page. Now, you will see, you can see that this is a header, uh, and this is something different than what we previously had. It's absolutely the header, and there are these are the links. So, um, this is just you can you know you can say these styling things and right after the second one i'm just applying the div and now i'm just putting the divider so we just need to go there and need to put the class like that and here i'm just putting the drop down divider and save it and then go to the browser and refresh that again and now there you can see that this is a divider a line and you can use this line for, uh, for example, you're making the menu where you put the your profiles and here you put the uh, something like account or billing option and there you put the logout and you just use the separator, the divider for the logout. So this is why we use the, uh, the separator. Then there is something very interesting and basic too. So uh, where you would just want the menu uh, you can just change the positions of the drop down like uh, first of all I'm just making something different here I'm going to the notepad uh, the code editor by the way and uh, what if I just do a basic change or what if I just copy the whole thing including that BR and I'm just pasting that here and just making this instead of the drop down just making it drop up in all things uh, even the drop down menu because drop down is a feature drop down uh, is actually not means the something going down but it's a uh, yeah the mean is dropping down but uh, whenever the menu opens it called the drop down but we are just using this in up way so refresh that now there is another one click there um, wait for a while because it's Okay, I need to see that back. And then I need to see what I'm just missing.
we actually just need to make some proper space so what if i just remove the hater from there the divider from there and save this and go back to the browser and refresh that so click there back still i need to delete the third link and save and go there and refresh that again and i'll click there still i need to make the space so um, now i think i should copy that save it and refresh that and now click there now you can see that it's going up you can see that but before that it was crossing the page so it's you know the bootstrap is ultimately the gift the responsive thing so that's why it was not working in a way we wanted so now it's working in a drop-up way so i think this is what we just wanted so one more thing i think we should talk about if i just simply copy that one or the big one too we can copy both of them because now i'm not intending to uh, use the drop up again but something different there is a drop down menu if i just add new space and put the drop down menu right drop down menu right and now go to the browser and refresh that so there is a menu and if i just click there uh, it's opening to the same place that means i need to go there back or just have a look with the wise eyes <laughs> click there and you can see that it's uh, opening uh, right from the left corner uh, and there is you can see that the beautiful alignment now uh, it's uh, starting from the left side the buttons left side and if i just click there it's starting from the buttons right side so i think it's already was working and uh, it's all good so i think we just made it done and in the next class we'll be talking about something different other than the drop down so stay tuned and goodbye